Hello, Professor. May I speak with you? You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. That is my impression, at least. Hmm. She is certainly talented. No doubt about that. But I wonder, what is your opinion of me? I am quite talented too, am I not? Be honest, do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person, not the scion of a noble house. You think she is better than me? I was just being modest before. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard, but evidently that is not your perspective. Hmm. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence! Precisely. You cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. You think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, Professor! We will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. I heard that just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go! Two at once? That's... well, it will be fine. I can't do it! It seems you have saved my life. I... Thank you, Professor. There's always something. It never ends. Lately, I have been feeling uneasy. Impatient. Edelgard claims victory after victory. She never stops. Five years ago, she ascended the throne and swept away the corrupt nobles, my father included. I always thought I would be the one to unseat him. But she did it instead, with all the ease and indifference of someone cracking an egg. She put my father under house arrest. She stripped House Iyer of its power. Rather than accepting a role as her puppet, I left. Now I fight to topple the Empire. The disparity between Edelgard and myself is... obvious. She never stops moving forward. Single-minded. Never wavering. But where does that leave me? Here, flailing about, going nowhere, contributing nothing. But it is! That is the reality! Not once since our days at the Academy have I exceeded Edelgard's abilities. I saw her as a worthy opponent. She did not even see me as a contender. She did not even consider me at all. As the head of the Noble House Iyer, I must be able to achieve results. But all my efforts have come to nothing. Results are everything. I have not shown results. So I will be stacked. I appreciate that, but it is not enough to persuade me. I know that I have a massive wall to climb, and I must climb it alone. Even so, may I ask a favor? Professor. Please keep an eye on my progress. I would appreciate if you were always by my side, bearing witness to my accomplishments. Hmm, what an interesting way of looking at life. Ah, it is you, just at the right time. 
Is it nighttime already? I must have gotten carried away. There is something I wanted to discuss. Something about you. I am starting to believe that you are a true hero. You hold the Lost Crest, you wield the Sword of the Creator, and you lead everyone in battle against great enemies. Not only that, but you are a strategist. You give everyone direction, so they know what needs to be done. You do not seem particularly ambitious, and yet you accomplish so much. I am not exaggerating. Everything I said is true. I have been reading about the history of Fargus, you know. The kingdom's founder, Lug, the king of lions, had two advisors. One of them was Pan, the undesiring strategist. According to historical records, Pan wanted nothing for himself. He devoted himself entirely to Lug. He had tremendous power, but he never seemed concerned about his legacy. So in the old chronicles, there is hardly any mention of Pan's deeds. All that we know is that he helped Lug, his friend and leader. It is not surprising that you have never heard of him. I did not even know his name until recently. But when I watch how you conduct yourself, I feel that I am seeing the unknown deeds of Pan. It is only a thought, of course, but it makes me feel rather happy. Even if it is not in the pages of a history book, a life can be full of achievement. I know that I will never prevail over Edelgard. Even if I defeat her on the battlefield, I am what I am. Like you and this undesiring strategist, I will do what I am called to do, even if no mark of me remains in the history books. It has been a long, hard road. Would you agree? Every long road comes to an end. That is when friends who have walked together must go their separate ways. You will guide Vodlin. I will return to my position as Duke Iyer. Life will go on. It must. I once asked something of you. I asked you to bear witness to my achievements. But even if I achieve nothing, and there is nothing left of me after I am gone, I still want you to see me. I mean that I want you to be my wife. I need you as much as I need my next breath. More, perhaps. I hope that you need me, too. That is it? You hear noble Ferdinand von Eyre declare his love for you, and all you say is, I understand? This is torture. Please, if you are going to refuse my proposal, simply tell me. I am not sure I understand. You do? Does that mean... Really? Oh, my head is ringing with pure joy, like a thousand bells. It is even greater than the joy of victory in battle. It is victory in life itself. <laughs> uh, apologies. I got a little carried away there. I am shaking. I cannot control it. It would be no exaggeration to say that my whole life, everything I have done, has led me to this moment. I am overjoyed. Oh dear, I might faint. Give me a minute or two to regain my balance before you say anything too fantastic. Imagine making our way through life side by side. The whole world has taken on a rosy hue. Ah, it is no use. I cannot stay upright. Please, let me lean on your shoulder. That is better. We are as close as can be. From now on, we will lean on each other. Thank you, my love. <laughs>